Missing pilot's body is recovered and a Louisville native is celebrated as he crosses the finish line in Paris. WDRV's Monica Harkins and Julie Dolan detail each of this week's top stories. In your top five, a heartbreaking end to the search for the missing Louisville pilot who'd been missing for five days. Yeah, then this week's top story, Chris Moore's body was recovered in his plane just off the coast of the Bahamas. His daughter says the plane crashed two and a half miles from the airport runway where he was supposed to land. He took off from Florida Sunday and went missing midair. Authorities say he died on impact. Moore was 59 years old. The city of New Albany was ordered to stop emergency repair work at a dam where a 14 year old boy drowned earlier this year. And WDRB captured video of a contractor doing work at the dam despite the order. This is number two. The contractor dumped large boulders and rocks next to Silver Creek Dam this week. This video was taken after the Indiana DNR ordered the city to stop work and issued an infraction to New Albany Mayor Jeff Gahan. Gahan ordered the emergency maintenance two months after 14 year old AJ Edwards slipped off the dam and drowned. The issue here is the city doesn't have the DNR permit to do the work while the Army Corps of Engineers investigates the dam. Officials worried unauthorized work could lead to flooding upstream and create additional safety issues. Louisville's mayor is pushing back on claims of systemic racism in metro government. It comes as his former deputy chief of staff filed two ethics complaints. This is number three. Former deputy chief of staff Keisha Dorsey filed two ethics complaints this week, claiming a hostile work environment in the mayor's office and systemic age, race and gender discrimination in metro government. She named dozens of women who have been removed or reprimanded on the job. It comes as Dorsey herself was written up. Personnel records say she inappropriately lobbied Metro Council on a proposed ordinance. Dorsey defended herself in a Facebook post Thursday and says that wasn't the case. JCPS is back in session the first day of school. The last student got home from the bus before the district's goal at 7 p.m. But that wasn't the story in our top headlines this week. It was the hundreds of job openings currently within the district. This marks number four. There are more than 600 openings on the JCPS hiring website. Nearly half of the vacancies are teaching positions in core subjects like English, math, and special education. The district also needs teachers for children who speak English as a second language. Language. The head of hiring is trying to ease concerns and says some of those jobs are duplicates and enrollment changes during the first few weeks of school. And each year, WDRB has reported that there have been several hundred job openings within the district. And this week, Louisville's Yared Nagoose took home bronze in the 1500 meter run. It was incredible. The race is super close down to the milliseconds in the Olympics in Paris. This rounds out your top five. Former coaches, classmates and fans all gathered at his alma mater, Manuel High School, to watch the race. But Manuel's head cross country coach wasn't there because he made the trip to Paris to support Nagoose. Nagoose is only 25 years old and could have another chance at the 2028 Olympics in L.A. Everyone was excited for that big win and congrats to him. Love to see them all jumping up and down for him. Super exciting. Yeah. That's our top five recap. Be sure to join us each weekday on WDRB Plus live at 10 a.m.